Good morning, CLD Standards Council of Scotland. How good it is to see you all. I can't believe that there's almost a tenth of our membership here in this room, and what a beautiful sight you all are. My name is Marianne Allison, and I have the absolute privilege of welcoming you all here today to the first members conference, because everybody that's in this room is actually a member of the CLD Standards Council. There's no inflation of those figures. I can't say, well, actually, there's 10,000 members because I've multiplied who you know and who you know. You have all personally taken the time to value your own professionalism, whether you're a youth worker, a community worker, or an adult educator, academic, student, or volunteer. You all come from different areas, different sectors, different parts, but draw on the one thing that unites us, and that is a love of community development and learning. We've got a very ambitious programme today, so I'm hoping that you're all going to bear with me. And in good community work fashion, you have to, there's no such thing as a free lunch, is there? You're all going to have to do something. Now, often when you're trying to convince your boss that you need the day off to go to a conference because it's good networking, how many, hands up, who's ever said that? Good networking. How many of you actually network? What you do is you go and see your pals and you go, oh, I've not seen you for years. When was the last time we had a cup of coffee and do you remember so-and-so? What I'm going to challenge you all to do today is to take a selfie with your bestie and post it onto Twitter because we do have a hashtag CLD Rocks 2015. I want each and every one of you to meet and take a photograph with someone you've never met before. Preferably someone who's at a different area um, of work from you. So if you're a youth worker, go and try and work with an adult education worker. If you're an academic, go and work with a volunteer. Students, go and network with the managers just in case you're looking for a job at some point. At lunchtime, we will be looking for your feedback and from your um, points of view. This is actually a really special day for me and really quite nerve-wracking in many respects. I'm quite new. I've only been here for six weeks. And I'm very amazed at the work that has gone on in the CLD Standards Council. Once you get the opportunity to pull the layers back in an organisation, I don't think you ever can appreciate the amount of hard work and true grit that the people in all the committees, out in the shires, out in all the areas, have come together to pull this organisation together. Ten years ago, we didn't have a Standards Council. We are the envy of the UK. I'm learning more and more how many other countries all over the world are wishing to see themselves as a professional service, to wishing to have that support. And here we have it, here in Scotland. And it's something that I seek to build going forward and hope that you will all help me to do so, because I'm really not that smart to be able to do it on my own. We live in very exciting times. As we all know, the policy is absolutely fantastic. But in terms of community work, it is amazing. The difficulty is translating policy into practice. And that's not always a clear direction of travel. We have the law on our side, the legislation is fantastic. But what as youth workers do have, what as community workers do have, adult educators do have, is resilience. They might not have a lot of resources, but we are some of the most entrepreneurial people that I think I have ever met. We are very good at making something out of nothing. Everybody in this room at some point has turned up with nothing more than a flip chart, a pen, a smile and charm and said, right, what are we going to do about this? So we are nothing if not resourceful. I think we now have the opportunity to galvanise on that resourcefulness, that resilience, and see what we can deliver going forward in order to make the world better for the communities that we serve, but also for ourselves to protect the, pra the place that we practice. Having a guild is not something new. The Romans, what have the Romans ever done for us? Well, when they invaded England, um, many of the English tradesmen thought that it was really important that they had a space that they could gather together to protect their own services and how things were done. But it was also to protect the public in terms of the quality of the service that they were receiving. And that's nothing short of what the CLD Standards Council seeks to do today. So, enough of me talking. The one thing I will say is come and unite. Remember that that word community does actually break down to that. Tweet, T 
take photos of each other. And now we're going to listen to Aileen Campbell because I'm sure she'll have much more learned thoughts and words of wisdom than I do. And she is the Minister for Children and Young People.